uh, low swear back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair uh, MSI i7 and RTX graphics now this job is coming from uh, computer business let's check their email uh, hi sorry another gaming laptop to work your magic and hopefully fix it for my customer it's MSI Katana GF66 doesn't power on and shows no indication of charging the customer also got the charger, yeah. I'm assuming I have the charger for this one. Yeah, I don't have this one, yeah, this particular one, but that's not a problem. I think we can figure it out even without the charger. Pressing the power button, dead. I will say let's open the laptop quickly and let's have a look inside. Actually, I have no screws, huh? I think they figured it out, I think they figured it out. If I send it to his screws, that means he will charge me more. <laughs> and the laptop is open. Yeah, that's a nice motherboard. Clearly someone took out the motherboard. Let's check the main power rail. Have you spotted anything like liquid damage? Blow up capacitor? Burn pizza somewhere? No? So, going... On the beeping checking the main power rail where we are checking the main power rail coil MOSFET capacitors the main power rail is not shorted huh gaming motherboard we no shorted main power rail another power supply no it's not short Okay, take my words back. Now I need the charger. Let's plug the battery and check the battery voltage, actually. Or check the coils. Let's see the coils. This one is good. This one is good. This one is good. This one is good. They send me a working laptop. Huh? Plug in the battery. The battery has voltage. Battery has zero volts. Okay. Let's come with the power supply. 19 volts. Good. Ground and plus the charging port. And the laptop is taking like 20 milliamps. 40. One amp. 700 milliamps. Check that. So... Uh, yeah, kind of low. 1.7 amps, yeah. That's the charging current. So the laptop it is charging. Hmm? Why is it not working? You think it's coming on in no picture? But they say doesn't power on or show any indication of charging. What do you mean it's charging fine? It's taking 1.5 amps. Do you think the dead charger is dead? Let me grab the charger. And we have the customer charger here. Let's plug the customer charger. This looks like a HP, like a Dell. Uh, but you know what? I don't think this has charger ID because I can't see charger ID pin. So plug in the charger. Charger is plugged. Do we have voltage? We do. Like over 20. Okay, how much? We have 20 volts, yeah. And the battery voltage, 12.7. Pressing the power button, the laptop is coming on. What? And it's working fine. That's crazy. So what's going on here? I mean, you've seen the customer email. Doesn't power on or show any indication of charging. I mean, the battery is fully charged. I think it's fully charged. So I'm plugging the charger. Yeah, like nearly fully charged. Plug in the charger and charging fine. 
I mean, what is this? They are checking my skills or what? They are checking if I'm honest? <laughs> I mean, what could go wrong here? Of course, they are a computer business. They won't send me a working laptop. I think the charger can be playing. No, it was not a frozen BIOS because we didn't disconnect the BIOS battery. I mean, we can check the BIOS battery. Which has 3 volts, so no, it was not a frozen BIOS. I mean, the battery looks like it's fully charged, 12.5. 20 volts, moving the charger. Oh, 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 oh. what was that? 0 volts. One second. Now it's moving the probe. No, the charger is fine. But we press the power button together, right? When I took the laptop, we press the power button together. Okay, let me shut down the laptop. So pressing the button, and it's coming on straight away. It was not coming on. So how this is possible? If we didn't reset the BIOS, yeah, the BIOS was not reset. We we disconnect the battery, the big battery, and connect the battery back. But the laptop was not working. We pressed the power button. Magic. I, I believe the customer is right. I mean, to work your magic. Yeah, I did work my magic. And magically, the laptop started working. I mean, what should I do? What you will do in this case? You think actually the GPU fan is dead? Nah, it's alive. Then what is the issue with this laptop? Bending the board, all the stuff. Yeah, it's working. You know, some faults cannot be explained. Nah, nah, like this one. Nah, you can't explain something like that. So I discharge the battery a little bit. Let's see if it's charging. Just to be sure. So the voltage on the battery is... 11.5. Yeah, and it's going down. So plug in the charger. It's 12.7. Yeah, the battery is poor. It has a high internal resistance. But still working fine. I mean, it's nothing what I can do here. I'm going to speak with the customer. I'm going to tell him I fix his laptop, I'm delivering a working laptop and he has to pay for a motherboard repair for touching, yeah, my magic touch. <laughs> Just joking. No, you can't do something like that, no. But one more time, like I said, this laptop is coming from a computer business, so they check, probably they reset the BIOS and all the stuff. Doesn't power and no show any indication of charging. So, I mean, the charger, which is 20 volts, 9 amps, 180 watts. I did work my magic, yes? I'm going to stop here. I'll say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like my magic. And see you on the next one. Bye.